Hi, it's James from Boats.co.uk. We've just bought this beautiful 2021 Princess F45 and it's just arrived at our pool office. So I'm gonna give you um, a little bit of a more detailed walkthrough than I normally do because there's so many new features that I love and I think it could be my favorite boat. Anyway, let's have a look. So this is the outside of the F45. We chose um, this electric blue chamfer here. Can you see it? Um, you have a choice of three colors. I think it was silver, blue, and maybe red, but I thought blue would look best, so we chose blue. Um, we chose quite a lot of options on this boat, so I, th I think I was in an excited mood when I had the options list because I just kind of ticked everything. Um, so I'm going to give you a walk through the boat and then we'll come back and look at some of the features because it's just very, very, very well thought out and designed. So let's jump aboard and have a look. This is the cockpit, which has got a very funky electric sliding mechanism, but I'll come back to that in a bit because I want to show you the saloon and the accommodation first. So we've got the galley here. It's a really nice color. It's like a crayon kind of gray, really funky color on the galley. I don't know if you can see on the film. Uh, we've got a dishwasher here. I've got two storage drawers here. Um, we've got a bin that slides out under here. We've got cutlery as well, which is all beautifully laid out there. You've also got some extra storage over the galley here. Um, two fridges here, because um, you can't have a full-size fridge freezer on this one. So you've got two like this, one there and one there. Um, the 2021 model, I noticed, got some upgrades. So you've got the name stereo, which is standard. Any of you that know much about name know they're hand-built stereo systems in England. So they really are the best money can buy. Um, two drawers here which open quite funkily if you have a look they kind of come out sideways kind of catches you off guard but really nicely made and then you've got the um, the main saloon here again lots of lots of light um, crockery's kept in this drawer under here you've got another storage drawer there a fire extinguisher under the helm seat these cushions here make into a double berth, which is an extra. I'm gonna talk about some of the extras on this boat because we did tick quite a few. Um, so uh, I'll point them out wherever I see them. Um, going forward, we've got the um, the lower helm with the VHF. See the joystick, twin Garmin screens bow thruster, etc. All the electrics I kept under here. Another storage there, another storage here. Actually, no, it's not. That's the trips. Always catch me out with something. Really useful. I call these shout windows because what you can do is you can slide it back and then you can shout, Oi, get my fenders in like that which is really handy because a lot of boats don't have this so that's the shout window and i'll just turn around here so you can get an idea the feeling in here is pure luxury everything is so beautifully made look at the, look at this seat with the stainless here and the stitching and the f for flybridge here TV's there, look. Blinds, more storage there. The door is a work of art, all stainless steel frame, beautiful. And I don't know if you can see, but the chamfer, can you see it just follows in to the inside of the boat here, look. So it's a nice little detail that just breaks up the white. So um, let's press that button and we'll go down below. So, down below, we have got to starboard, or to the right, if you don't know what starboard means. We have the day head, 
and the lovely shower. I love these sinks. These are all on princesses. Perrin and Row, Mayfair, London. Just again, just lovely detailing. Beautiful porcelain toilet, handrail, lovely detailing. And then I'm looking forward still. I'm very close to it, but let's open the door and into the well, it's the VIP, so it's the second cabin. And in here, you've got an upgrade to the beds. So these are scissor beds that come together um, to make a double, or you can have them as two singles. Um, now, something that gets overlooked quite a lot is all princesses come with a toolkit. Look, there it is. And I've got a spanner out to show you. So if you ever need to fix anything on your boat, it's all included. If you're buying a second-hand boat, make sure no one's nicked it, because these don't seem to hang around too long, because actually it's full of really good tools. Anyway, you've got a wardrobe there. To port. Lovely opening porthole there. And then you've got um, a dressing table over there. By the way, these are our accessories, the hat, etc. So these aren't included with the boat. They're just to make the boat look pretty, or prettier, should I say. Um, just another detail, the headboard material we chose is a upgrade. It's a, got a lovely texture, but wherever you look on the boat, there's some this beautiful detailing, that, that wood there is curved. It doesn't need to be, but it just looks beautiful curved. So walking aft, that's back up to the saloon. This is a mirror, which really confuses me actually, because I nearly walked into it earlier. So going aft, you've got a toilet there to port, which is the master heads with a shower. All the same quality as the other and then this is the master now you can see the head height is restricted because this boat is only 45 feet so you can't have everything they have however given you a higher head area here above my favorite sock sofa which you'll have seen in my previous videos it's really good for putting your socks on or if you're a lady maybe your tights the ceiling is slightly reduced here. I'm six foot one. I just have to slightly duck here. Wardrobe there. Another window there with an opening porthole. Beautiful details here. And then over here, you have a 43 inch UHD LED TV, which is another expensive extra for this boat in the master and you have um, name audio and Bluetooth surround sound. So I think with that, we'll go back up to the cockpit. Oh, one, one last thing. Um, there's a washer dryer under here, which is another extra. Uh, it's, a, was it? it's a NAF washer dryer. So you can go boating and wash and dry your clothes. Anyway, upstairs we go. Okay, so here's the cockpit. You've got a little occasional chair here. You've got an infill that goes in there, which I've put on the pontoon over there because it's quite big. This table moves on these slots here. Can you see these slots? I've put it in the out position, so you've got a bigger cockpit. I'll show you how that moves in a second. Stairs to the flybridge here, and I'll show you the high-low platform. So quite a nice area here. You can certainly get, I don't know, six people down here. Um, here are the switches. So I think this one does the platform. So if you can just see there, press that button. I won't go too far because it will hit the pontoon, but I think you get the idea. It's quite big. Um, it lifts 150 kilos. So it will take like a jet ski and paddle board or a small dinghy and outboard. I'll just press that back up, which is that button. Um, this boat has got air conditioning uh, and heating, but it hasn't got passerelle and it hasn't got um, a bimini. So if you want this in the med, we'd need to add those two. But it's got the big generator, 9.5 kVA. This button here moves. Can you see that? It's moving the seat. 
See the table moves with it, can you see it? And that gives you a, a bigger platform and it moves in here, as you can see. And it, I think it just goes up the engine hatch. Now I'm just gonna shut that back because I want to go in the engines next. By the way, beautiful cleats. Look at these cleats while well, I'm waiting for this to move back. Look at that with the protection. Really nice. So let's go down in the engine room. So this is the engine room. This boat is fitted with the latest Volvo Penta D6 IPS 650s. The very first F45 had IPS 600s. These develop a bit more horsepower at 480 horsepower each. Very neatly installed. They're 5.5 litre. That's where the D6 comes from because they round it up to six. So when you see D6, it means it's about six litre each. The boat will do about 31 knots and it has a range of about 250 nautical miles. Now, you can see here, there's some lovely details. Like above the engines, you've got these two stainless brackets that hold fenders. So four there. And also under here, you've got another area, which is under the fuel filters, where you can put, well, maybe more fenders, but there's certainly some more storage there. Um, you've got the air conditioning over there, batteries, the switch gear. And if I just get up around here, we've ticked the largest generator option, which is the Onar 9.5 kVA. It's immaculate in here, as you would expect for a new boat, but everywhere you look, it is beautifully finished, clipped, insulated, and made. And this is what sets apart the princesses from other boats. Um, this boat's not cheap. It's not far short of a million pounds, including the VAT, but you get what you pay for. Anyway, up to the flybridge. Okay, so here's the flybridge steps. There's that chamfer I was telling you about. We just uncovered it, so there's a bit of water. There's the upper helm. There's the sunbathing on the bow. Got a sunbed cushion that goes in there. Seating there, you've got the Garmin XHD2 radar. This boat's got AIS as well. But I want to show you something. Look at this door. Solid GRP with a window. But look, have you ever seen something as cool as that? Look at that. In all the years I've sold boats, I've never seen anyone do anything as beautifully. That's never gonna break, is it? Look at that. Such a lovely attention to detail. Over here, we've got the barbecue, which again is an option. And sink, which is standard, I think. And then here we've got the bin. I think that's a cooler, yeah. You put some drinks in there, beer and stuff. I haven't ticked the bimini, but the bimini would go round here when it's not up. We can add that if you want it. Upper helm, pretty similar to lower helm. Again, lovely, beautiful details. Cup holders here. Great visibility. Look how deep this screen is. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's really deep. This will stop buffeting when you're underway. So a really nice detail. The other thing I'd like to say is that these IPS boats are really frugal on, uh, on fuel. I drove one round Mallorca last summer and I think I did the whole circumnavigation of the island and um, I came back with a quarter of a tank. Now I've done it in other boats and I've done two tanks. So it gives you an idea of um, how economical it is. Um, most people that buy these aren't 
too fussed about the fuel, but I just thought you'd like to know. So how would I sum up um, this Princess F45? I would say it's like a precious diamond, highly polished and perfect in every way. Um, the details, the flawlessness, the thought and care that's gone into the design and build makes this boat an absolute winner. Um, we only have one for 2021. Um, these are hand built in England, as a lot of you know, and they're difficult to come by. I agree, it's not cheap. You can buy other boats for less money, but if you want something that you can really, really enjoy and revel in the small details for you and your family of, say, four of you, plus visits from friends, then you've got to go an awful long way to beat this boat. Um, it's really impressed me actually. Um, very, very, very nice boat.